back in the day when I was just 14. I lived in Southampton and we would go every Wednesday and Saturday nights to the Southampton ice rink. It was a really great place to go because at 14 back in the day, we wasn't old enough to get into them discos. But you could go to the ice rink, you could be around loads of young people, plenty of girls there. You could uh, listen to some fantastic music, get on the ice, you could have a fantastic time and we used to do it anyone who lives in Southampton will always have if they came from back in the day they have great memories about the Southampton ice rink but here's the point of this little video there was one guy that used to come out with us who wouldn't actually ever get on the ice he came but he wouldn't get on the ice because he was too scared that he was going to hurt himself or that he was going to show himself up by falling over man we was all falling over it was part of it but he kind of, you know, he couldn't take the risk. He had to stand in his comfort zone on the edge of the ice, being a spectator into life, watching life, literally skating by him. And he, you know, so he had a sort of okay time, but there's nothing like actually you can stand on the sidelines at any game, watch it, and it's all right, isn't it? You can have a good time, cheer that team on. Another thing being on there and on the pitch and, and, and playing the game and feeling the excitement and the highs and lows of the game, of winning or losing, whatever um we all all of us that got on the ice there's one thing that we did at one point we took a risk we put them old blue boots on strapped them up oh it's take ages all those flipping little buttonholes and to do their laces up in and we used to get on the ice in that first moment you go on the ice you is taking a chance because you might just kill yourself but you went on there and you had a go and you fell down, you failed and you had to get back up and you failed again and you had to get back. You pulled a few other people down with you, but you were falling down all the time and you had to do that and able to become a success and being able to skate on the ice. And we weren't all figure skaters, we weren't all speed skaters, but we had a good time and we had a really good laugh and we all look back at it with really fond memories. Here's the thing, if you apply that to life, to your life, who are you? Is you in uh, the skate park of life, skating around on that rink, taking part, really, really being involved in it and feeling it and getting the success, the highs and the lows and everything else that goes with it? Or is you like that other guy in your life? Are you just st stood on the sidelines? If you are, you ain't really living a true, great life because you ain't really experiencing the things that you were designed to experience. If you want your success, if you want your happiness, here's the thing that you've got to do. Some people would describe it as jumping, yeah? You've got to take a risk. You've got to give things a go. You've got to throw yourself into the game. You've got to be a player, not a spectator. Once you decide that you is going to take part, and it don't matter. You might not be the best footballer in the world. You might be, might not be playing in a premiership. But you know, these days, if I want to carry on playing football, I can't run no more. But I can go and do walking football. I can still get in the game. It don't matter how old or young you are. And if you as a young person, you make sure that you get on the park and you start playing. Otherwise, you're going to lose out in your life. And if you're getting older, it's never too late to start playing a different game. You've just got to take a risk. Get on the ice rink of life and give it a go. You know you're going to fall down, but just laugh at that. Get back up and you'll soon learn to skate.